Hey guys, welcome back to our uh, second part of uh, Ajax Multifile Uploader tutorial. This will be about uh, submitting that dynamic form that we created in last tutorial inside an iframe because we want the application to have Ajax kind of look. We cannot use the generic XML HTTP request object for uploading files record because it doesn't support file uploads. So we will create the iframe and we will name it Uploader. We need to assign a style to it to make it invisible. So you will assign display none. We shall make it invisible, but for any incompatib incompatibilities with older browsers, we at least want to make sure that the iframe has a minimum size iframe. And to make this form being submitted inside it, we need to assign the target attribute. And that target attribute should have the name of the iframe as its value. And action should be upload upload.php, which is the file we will code in a minute. And this is also necessary to upload files. Uh, your form should be uh, have post as its method, and it should have encryption type set to multi-part or form data. Save it. Uh, now we are done with our client. We also need, as you can see, that the iframe is invisible, so the content generated by upload.php won't be visible to the user. So we need a place to put the response in. We will read the response out of the iframe and put it inside the div which is uh, which has the ID response. So we will put it inside it, the response inside it. So now let's go to upload.php and code it. So again I will use a div here and assign it an ID temp. I'm using it as a wrapper of the generated content of our PHP script. So our PHP script will go here and we will also have a script tab because we want to get the content from this temp directory uh, temp div and insert it in our response div so in here we need to check if our f uh, post uh, post request variable upload has been uh, set this is the name of our uh, submit form that's why i'm checking it and now in it we are sure that the file uh, form has been submitted now we can actually do stuff with our files so whenever you deal with uploading files you have to deal with this array which is a super global variable inside PHP and this will contain the information you need to upload uh, deal with the uploaded files the files get uploaded automatically to the temp directory of your PHP for uh, PHP installation but you have to move them to the appropriate directory to make it usable so let's actually see the content of it Again, this will be invisible. We want to display this in our main Windows response div right here. We want to display the content generated through the uh, uh, from that PHP script inside this response div. We can do that by using window.parent, which will give us the parent of this iframe, and its document will give us the DOM of the main canvas you see on the browser. And we need to get the response as well using the current Windows iframes document object. You can search for uh, the uh, temporary dev and its content, and we'll put it inside main dot get element and the response in our main window our response, and we'll put it there in our HTML equals response just to make uh, things a bit treatable I'm going to use a pre tag I will remove it save it now let's go to our Camino browser and upload and you can see the content inside that files array huge uh, information that we need here so first of all we have uh, the main underscore files array have the files nested array this is uh, the con uh, due to the convention we used inside our uh, form fields, file fields, naming, uh, while naming them we uh, inserted uh, empty array. This is due to it. And then we have the name uh, as another nested array inside our files array. And it has the original names of the file and the type has the type of the files. Temporary name is the directory where your file is right now on your PHP directory and error is zero when the file is successfully uploaded size will be in bytes so 
these these are actually invulnerable, uh, very uh, exploitable because these are uh, uh, received uh, with the request header from the uh, browser, so they are not really reliable. So we have other techniques to uh, figure out the file types, uh, file types of our images, our files. Sorry. So in it now we have one more thing. So this is the first file original name first file so you can see the relation between them so we can loop through each of them using a simple loop so we'll create that loop for i equals count and files uh, files again which is the naming convention thingy and then temp free name and this you can use any uh, array here you can use name temporary name error because all of them have the similar number of indexes so then the condition which is i is greater or equal to zero and i minus minus now we can loop through each element uh, each file iterate through each file so first of all we, we want to check the file uh, uh, upload status which is the error index so I'm just gonna copy it see and I'm going to check error error i equals to zero if it's zero this means the file has been uploaded successfully and we can also check the sizes let's say we want the images to the files to have less than uh, or equal uh, like they should be not more than 5 uh, five MB so less or equal to 500 uh, this is kilobit and this is megabit so megabytes sorry because the sizes will be in bytes and then let's check their types now using get image size you can see if a certain file is an image or not because they are in uh, temporary directory we can use this array now so if the, uh, the file is not in an image it will return false now what we need to do is uh, upload the files so we want to, um, them to be uploaded to an, our new directory which is uploads uploads dot I'm, I use time usually to avoid conflict timestamp and the original name we need the original name here because the uh, the original name has uh, extension for the file this will uh, relieve you of the hassle to na um, like writing the correct uh, extension for the file if you use the original name move uploaded file so this is the function which uh, actually is used for uploaded files it is used to move temporary uh, file from the temporary directory to um, the new directory you want them to be so like here upload is a relative directory so it's accessible inside the um, browser inside the uh, Apache temporary directories are not so that's why we want them to be inside our browser uh, servers directory root directory, new directory so save it now I'm going to go to a finder and clean up my uploads folder and try to upload something to it so we have few files here first one is image and rest of them should be avoided because they are application if I upload and go to my finder the file isn't being uploaded because the size hasn't been written correctly because I need to write i because for the uh, for the ith file if I upload it now you will see the only image file has been uploaded to our uploads directory so next will be uh, our uh, converting them to thumbnails and a bit more uh, detail uh, for displaying the uploaded files uh, on the client to make it mo look more ajaxy thank you for watching